So, finally watched Cross Edge last week. I mean, not, wow, I started it last week, but I finally finished it yesterday. And my thoughts are that anime like Cross Edge make shit like Code Geass R2 look like a fucking grounded political drama. I mean, seriously, guys. I don't even know if I'd have even if I would have watched this without it being an SRW. I mean, it's not like it's Valve Rave. You, there is, there are aspects of it that are so good it's entertaining, but there are actually bad aspects to the fucking show that you have to deal with. And maybe it would have been better to watch this show in a weekly format because, forgive me if I might come off a little bit grumpy in this video, but I watched for episodes 12 all the way to episode 25 in like one sitting. So I'm just like, I got the brawl of the retardation in my face at once. Just like, oh God, what the fuck is this show even doing? It goes from a plot about a bunch of people in robots killing dragons to a plot about two separate worlds to a plot about a guy who's the main villain whose the name is Embryo, who actually created all of the non-Norma humans, and yeah, ah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's definitely got its fun aspects to it, but there are other aspects to it I absolutely hate. Like that goddamn Vivian girl, oh my god. Every time she opened her mouth, I was like, oh, would somebody get rid of this bitch, please? And I got excited, the episode when she turned into a dragon, you know, the whole reveal that the dragons are people! Ooh. I was like, oh god, maybe they'll actually, I'll actually put a bullet in her head. And they didn't do it because she started singing that fucking song that Ange knows. And they're like, oh, we can't kill her, she's one of us. And I'm like, oh, this, this worked out pretty well. Usually in an anime like this, I'm pretty sure that a character would be killed after you know, a certain situation like that. But fine, whatever, he wanted to keep her around. And then there was a whole plot about her fucking mom in the other world who was also a dragon bitch. And there's like a whole society of dragon bitches. Though, Cross Edge is kinky as fuck. And I can deal, I can, I can appreciate that to a certain extent. It does take it a little too far at times. But I gotta say, I was respecting the robo anal fisting in episode one. I mean, if there's anything that we don't have enough in this world, it's, it's enough. It's, just a, it's that sort of fetish porn. You know, there is fetish porn, but there's an, you don't really get that kind of thing. You know, when you search, I'm pretty sure if I searched up robo anal fisting, I wouldn't really find much, maybe other than that Cross Edge episode one, but this is definitely, Fukuda, I'm really thinking I'm saying where your talents lie, and that might be in the porno industry because you can't fucking write shit for some reason. I mean, Unless Cross Edge was a deliberate joke, but there's really no way to tell because you made Gundam Seed Destiny and he thinks that's good, so maybe he thinks Cross Edge is good too. But definitely look into that, man. I know you watch my videos, and I know damn well you're trying to make some more cash now. You could easily make some more cash by fucking going into the hentai industry. I mean, I'd pay for some more robo anal fisting and some dragon sex. I mean, there was a fucking scene. First of all, the, <laughs> and his little sister. Is for some reason is very fond of the whip. I mean, she like whips her sister. She whips a tied up dragon with the gag on. That is my fetish. I was like, all right. You know, the whole fucking scene where Andrew's about to get executed and these guys are like, oh yeah, fuck this bitch, get rid of her. And you know, the sister's whipping Andrew. And I'm just like, huh, you know, I'm sure some people would pay to see entertainment like that. I gotta say, society and cross edge is shit but I'm all for public incestual whippings. Call me a sick fuck, that's just how I roll. Damn, we need more of that shit. So Fakuda, you got it in you, but you're in the wrong <laughs> industry right now, man. You gotta take your talents elsewhere because I don't know if this shit is for you. Though, there are good things about cross don't get it twisted. Honestly, there are some interesting aspects about the show that could have been good had they actually, you know, been done correctly. Like the whole Dragon Island thing, you know, them, them killing all those dragons and finding out they were humans. That could have been handled so much better. I mean, Embryo as a villain could have been a cool concept, but, you know, it just turns out all he wants to do is fuck Ange anyway. I mean, how many... Oh my god, it's some... I'm not even a guy who uses the word creepy a lot, because I hate when, you know, I hate girl when girls are like, oh, he's this creepy, oh, you know, don't do that, oh, but god damn, Embryo's a creepy motherfucker. I don't even, I lost time, I lost track of, time he's, of the times he's seen Ange naked. I mean, probably only like three times, but god damn, dude, that's some creepy ass shit. He's just trying to get some pussy. I'm just like, damn, dude, is that all? 
And he's, he, he felt he felt like he was shitty packed in Shiraco. That's what it was. Right? He got this whole army of stupid bitches who joined this cause because they weren't getting enough dick in their life. And then he just kind of cast them aside. It's like, oh, where have I seen this before? Because Fakuda was like, oh, fuck, these guys are on to me now. Maybe I need to start ripping off a double oh seven. Stop ripping off a double oh seven now. Maybe it's time to move on to Zeta. Even though Destiny was sort of like that, but now he's trying to take some more aspects from Zeta. He saw Pimptimus, Shiroko or Shiraco or whatever, and he was like, "Hmm, this guy's a baller. I should make a shittier version of that character as the main villain for this show." And that's what happened. Philkis is a good robot, though. I like Philkis, which goes to show that Strike Freedom could be a good concept, but it does not work as a Gundam. It only works as a fucking dragon slaying machine that has an aerial mode that it transforms into. I like that. I like that. I fucking liked it. I will be using Vilkis and Super Robot Wars V for a damn sure, because it'll be in 2D. And it's a cool robot. Also, I like Edge. She's like the only character in the show I actually care for, because everybody else is just kind of there, it felt like to me. Edge is like the only character that actually goes through development and all these other kinds of shit. I mean... Not Kira Yamato. Fuck that guy. I'm so tired of the whole, whoa, I fell into her crotch again, bro. Whoa, watch out. Misunderstanding. It's like, oh my god, I'm too fucking old for this shit in my anime. God, what did I just say? But yeah, I'm too old for this goddamn shit in my goddamn anime, all right? And I've seen enough of it. All this falling and all the crotch shit. My god, it's just like, ugh. Whatever. Though it's like not the most offensive joke in the show, but it is for damn sure <laughs> the most obnoxious one. But I, strangely, I don't really feel hatred towards Cross Edge. It does benefit, I guess, off of that whole brain dead show type of we're just watching it to have fun. Nobody's really expecting any sort of sexual. So it does have that going for it. It's not entirely awful, but I don't know if I could ever recommend it. It's like, I'm in a weird spot here because. A show like this, you've seen me with shows like this, like Valkyrie, for instance. I just shat in that thing's mouth. With Cross Edge, I want to shit in its mouth, and I kind of do. But at the same time, I can appreciate some of the stuff that it has. It's like, well, you know, the character designs are okay. The bitches are nice. Uh, cool robots. Could have had a good plot if it had better execution. Oh, but I was laughing my ass off because Andrew's such a fucking bitch in episode one. Oh, Norma is a non-human scum who deserved to be sent off to concentration camps. And just like that, it turned out she was a Norma. I was like, ha, how about that shit? But you know, it also feels like Makuta's like, you know, sort of trending on his old sort of plot lines, the whole racism thing. Ooh, racism is really bad. And we're gonna make people illogically bad about it. Like, for instance, Ange had friends for years, and she was their leader, and everybody loved her, and she was giving a, in, inspiring friendship speeches and shit, and I know social brainwashing is a thing that happens, you can make people conditioned to hate other people, that could happen, but to such an extent, like the moment you find out she's a normal, she's absolute scum, you don't care about her, you don't give a fuck what happens to her, you want her dead, come on, like, and of course, I know I shouldn't be expecting logic from a fucking Fukuda show, but god damn it, it was just so, I'm just racking my brain, but because of their ignorance, I did get that ancestral whipping scene, so I'm, I'm a little partial on that. Not Kira Yamato, man, whatever, dude, like, that guy was alright, I guess, it was kind of funny when he was fighting the main villain, and he was like, ha, huh, you're a lot stronger than before, what, what's going on, and he's like, wait a minute, did you fuck my waifu, and he was like, well, yes. <laughs> So once again, the Jesus Yamato swag comes in with the old classic NTR shit. Oh, and Fakuda, don't think I didn't fucking notice that fucking hotel Mula Flaga. You little rascal, you little rascal. That's a little, that's a little adorable. All right, I'm giving you some punch for that hotel Mula Flaga. Okay, a little, yeah, all right, all right. But still, it was a bad show. And you should really get into the hentai business because I really feel like your talents are being wasted on this fucking anime nonsense. When you can get, we like, like I said, the world needs more anal robo fisting. We don't have enough of it, and you gotta deliver. Maybe you're the man for that job, Fukuda. I fucking have your back in the hentai industry, not in the fucking mecha industry, but the hentai industry for damn sure. Though, you did make that fucking Gear Rider Dendo or whatever the fuck that shit's called, and I gotta watch that. I hear that you're one of your good works, so maybe I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm being a little bit too hasty. But definitely it felt like Fakuda just went insane after Destiny and was like, <laughs> you want a bad show? Oh, I'll give you a bad show. And it was like, oh, damn, this dude's making this bad on purpose almost, it feels like. It's like the show's tried to start off not being bad on purpose and it just progressively got worse. I mean, the maid and not Jesus Yamato died in, the, in, in an explosion as far as I know, right? You know, 
fucking not Jesus Yamdo they did some Alawa Akbar shit fucking blew himself up with a fucking strap explosion I was like damn the fuck Kira Yamdo just took it to a next level but it turned out he survived somehow the show doesn't even bother to explain it it's like it decides to be intentionally shitty when it suits its benefits like it's like oh see well we're just being wacky yeah uh jesus yamato died and even though the maid got shot in the chest she had a frying pan under her dress Woo! even though the frying pan doesn't exactly explain how the fuck she survived an explosion but yes i mean Cross Edge is like one of those anime that you want, if you want a train wreck to watch and you're just bored and tired of watching good shit, go ahead and watch it. But if you don't have, if you have better shit to do, fuck Cross Edge, it can wait. Or if you're just trying to watch for SRW like me, go ahead and watch it. But I don't know if I could ever recommend this show. I would never say Cross Edge rocks or Cross Edge some fun shit. I mean, it's all right. It's somewhat fun, but it's really just bad shit. And you could definitely get more entertainment out of watching R2. Definitely. Definitely, this feels like a lower tier of R2, which begs the question, should Taniguchi have been the one to make Cross Edge? Because if Taniguchi was in charge of Cross Edge, we would have had 2D Vilkis, some cooler action, and even though, even if it did turn shitty, it still would have been more entertaining than fucking Cross Edge turned out to be. But it's Cross Edge, it's still okay, it's still alright. I don't really hate it. It's, I'm very, and I'm in a weird position here, because I'm really black and white when it comes to my taste on some things, and for this, it's like, this is a gray area. It's like, it's bad, but it's fun to watch to a certain extent. There's good music and some cool robots, but it doesn't really make up for it. But it's still kind of worth looking at. Ah, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I just don't fucking know. Cross Edge has me stoned. But I am definitely interested in seeing it in V because it will definitely be improved because SRW improves everything that Fakuda's ruined. So that, that way, we'll be able to get some, probably some nice uh, upgrades to the actual content of the story and I can deal with that. So, it was worth watching for me personally because I'm trying to get ready for V in the next two weeks. And I gotta watch Yamato next, so that's definitely on the menu after this. And I'm glad I saved it for Cross after Cross Edge, because I don't know if I want to go from I don't want I don't know if I want to watch Mike Guyne and then Yamato and then Cross Edge. Whoa, that would have been a little bit too much of a quality drop for your old boy Mecha Slash. But I did the smart thing, and I, I say I, I saved the best for last. So that'll be the next V anime I, I review, Yamato 2199. I'm hoping to enjoy it, as you know the hype behind. It is quite real so we'll see what we'll see what's going on with that but like i said there are certain things that cross hand has going for it and the kinkiness is definitely one of it if you're a yuri motherfucker oh there's plenty of yuri shit i mean it's, it's, it's basically an all-female island and they're all gay for each other so you've got plenty to, even even edge is a little bisexual she made out with hilda see there's plenty of yuri swag for you and if you like the anal kind of shit we've got a, a nice anal robo fisting scene even though they don't really show it to you but it's implied anal robo sex and if you're that fucking desperate for it, you can use your imagination to fill in the gaps because at the end of it, she's holding, she's on, she's on the ground crying and you know what happened. So, there's that, there's incestual whipping, and there's also a girl whipping a dragon with a gag on, and that was pretty hot, to be honest with you, but that, had, that didn't last that long, so unfortunately, it was quite disappointing, but yeah, that's my review on Cross Edge. Uh, don't know if I'll ever watch, <laughs> if I'll recommend it to anybody, and I don't know if there's any other mecha shows out there like this. I mean, outside of R2 and maybe Destiny, but Destiny was like not bad on purpose. It was just bad and not all that entertaining towards the end. So I guess you could say Fakuda's technically improved. Well, those are my thoughts on Cross Edge, so fuck it.